Happy New Year to everybody. Hello, Doris. Hello, Tish, Lori, Julie, Jody, Tracy, Mary, Peppermint Paints. Jane, Sarah, Faye, Tish, congrats on your 1,000 subscribers. Again, my alarm. Sorry, but just to bring you a little closer. Okay, hope so. Okay. So, New Year. Hello, Roxy. Hello, Mary Beth. So, I hope that this New Year 2021 will be normal again soon <laughs> or just nicer than the 2020 because even though it was a good year for me um, regardless to my art and channel and meeting all of you lovely people but um, it wasn't a nice year for everything else. So I don't know how you in other countries stand with this. Oh, hello, Mel. Hello, Janet. I just hope that it will be full of joy, happiness, uh, positive vibes. I don't know. That's what I wish you in this new year thank you marcy boys spicy boys <laughs> if you didn't watch mina's premiere in two huh lee jeremy uh, in on 5 p.m no i don't know where when you have your premiere today uh they did so fun thing together Spicy Boys, Massey Art Studio, and Mina Villegas. So I was so, I enjoy this thing. I wish that I could do with someone this. So <laughs> I would love to paint in real with somebody, not to teach, just have fun and paint. So uh okay lee or jeremy feel free to to write when your premiere is so let's start with our dry results from last week mel these two paintings will come to your mail soon because it was your choice with, of course, <laughs> my preferences, or how can I say? Because, um, I don't know, but these cadence colors are just so gorgeous. I, I really can't explain. They are similar than Descartes Extreme Sheen, but a little more shiny i think that kind of reminds me of primary elements they are just just stunning in real and all these purples and this gold it's gorgeous i hope that you will like this present mail this is the first two that we did last week and this is the dip on the Cadence white gold. 
and it's gorgeous too. I still didn't use the, those skins. These paintings are dry but not varnished. So, okay. Hello, Linda. Uh, but I think that they are really, really beautiful. I like this one. And I have a skin too. I will do, I promise that I will do video this week, but I didn't do it. Whoop last week this is the second one so this is the skin from that one it's beautiful too i love these details here so it will be another i will put this one on another canvas and i will have kind of a diptych so this is this skin and um uh, I did this one on Decart Extreme Sheen Gold, but with a little too much black. But this Cadence Metallic Red is really, really beautiful, and the skin is just stunning, I think. So, this skin will make... Um, you see, I, I have some lines, if you can see from the um that uh, because i have just a plastic bag but when you release this you can you know you can uh stretch this because these paints when are they are dry you can stretch them a little bit so i was even thinking to put a skin on some i don't know flower pot or something you know because it should look interesting too, you know, to have a flower pot with some flower dip on top. So, these are these two. I will put them aside. Okay. Uh, and this is the flower on this blue. I have to say that I'm not... I don't know. I I think that it's not my best flower, but still, you know, this one is from my last week live with the same colors that uh, I used for the male uh, double dip or <coughs> sorry. <coughs> uh, and my favorite one from this week, the, the one with the split cup. And this iridescent blue-green from Pebeo and Amsterdam Phthalo Prussian Blue created so gorgeous, such a gorgeous color. I hope that you can see and this cadence metallic orange here in the middle and all these lines that are under underneath and just a little bit of yellow pop popping through i think that this is um, one of my favorite paintings that i did with the split cup i i don't know because i didn't get uh, <laughs> a snake <laughs> so and um, because uh, all of the time when you use your split cup you know it's it's hard to pour all the paint out i normally grab those um, little coasters and pour what is left on the on the coaster and this one this coaster is just cute too this is the one you know, with colors that left in a split cup. And you can, you see, get a, a nice little coaster too. So, this is this. Okay. Uh, 
and this is the flower with the rose gold and I on the mm, pearl pearl lumiere pearl background and you see this lumiere uh, pearl background it's kind of uh, sterling silver I think and it has those iridescent in it but this rose gold dried really I don't know I was expecting a little more of richness or how can I say because uh, I don't know but <laughs> I just uh, want you to use this um, rose gold because I never used them, use it before. But still, I miss some something to pop. It's not. Uh, I have to order some cadence uh, one because these cadence colors are really more more vibrant metallics the dance metallics paints and um, I just want to show you this one because I did this one off camera I just practicing something doing something and didn't work and then I just poured a lot all of the paints straight poured into the cup and here I used cadence metallic paints cadence lavender and cadence this blue and cadence gold and that's why I want to show you how shiny if you can see I hope that you can see how shiny those cadence colors dry they are just I don't know stunning I have to say I'm not an affiliate or <laughs> anything I just bought some of them and I have to say that I like it more than extreme sheen probably and as you can see you can get those um, pearl cells we did too so obviously it is similar than uh, uh, extreme sheen from decart but i will say that they are a little more sparkly or how can i say so this one was just an experiment and I showed it just because um, I want to show you how they shine and this is my experiment from my last video that I used watered down pearl <laughs> with some I don't even know probably Pebeo because I see Pebeo blue green and I have extreme sheen gold I know and Prussian blue and kind, they kind of belong together, even though that I didn't do this like a diptych. But you see, it kind of, they belong together. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. This was the first one. And I was so, these cells were so amazing. You see, I get some white cells on white, or how can I say? Just so interesting uh, and because paints were were really thin, you see, I get this different. Uh, uh, cadence. I can show you which cadence metallic paints I use. Just a second. Which one? Maybe I can show you this line. This is cadence. Look, no, pisha, Tsadence. Tsadence. Dora. Metalloids paints. This one is amethyst, and they have, I don't know, probably a hundred, a hundred uh, um, shades, and they are, they are not uh, cheap, but. Uh, I bought them here in Slovenia in one store, but they had just a few shades. So I searched on online, and I think that you can buy them on some uh, online stores in states. So, uh, and.
and those they have metal i can show you just a second they had just the regular metallic paints those are just metallic paints and those are metallic pearl paints dora line you see cadence dora line so not this this those um, metallics are beautiful too but those are extremely extremely shiny and they are just stunning when they dry so i love them i have to buy all all the shades that i can get probably uh i don't know i think that i have one with those dry too you see this one this was not on the video neither this was probably this aqua or something, but they are really, really, really so shiny. I don't know how to explain. They, they definitely see this kind of silvery. Uh, they definitely dry amazing. So if you can try to get some. As I said, they are not cheap. These little jars. Uh, how much is in there? 50 milliliters. This is an ounce and a little less than two ounces. And uh, in Slovenia, they cost about a little less than three euros. So about probably they cost about four dollars. I don't know. Maybe not in your country, in States, maybe you can get them cheaper. So, but if you want to try them, I, I really love them. So back to the, the painting. So I don't know. I, I, I think that I thin down a little more for the second one that I get more of those kind of pearly cells or how can I say so? This is dry and they kind of belong together, I think. <laughs> I love them. So, this was just an experiment. I will try to play a little more with those. Um, uh, if you check Dwight Pores or Sarah Taylor, they play with this consistency. And of course, Elise Fournier, Melody, a lot of artists play with consistencies. And, but uh, they, I think that they use the card set in enamel. So you can try that too, if you want. And to today's, <laughs> what I have in my, head for today i really don't know if this will work but i want to try and again i'm playing live on camera instead of i don't know but it's fun it's fun to play i i i'm not afraid of fail because we all fail sometimes so I have a dustpan, Donald. <laughs> yes, Lee, I will use Donald today. <clears throat> Lee called this one a do Donald. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Janet. Yes, I'm close to 200,000 subscribers. Close, not so close. <laughs> 7,000 uh but not so far away so uh i don't have this uh rubber here so i don't know i did one pour with this just uh, you know uh i just did a normal um normal one and what i have in my head today i will show you first and tell you and I have a spider here. You see him? A little spider. <laughs> Brings luck, hopefully. 
Um, I have ooh, 16 by 16 inch canvas today, so I will probably have to do this. Oh, sorry, guys. Always problems with this zooming in or out or something. And my, uh, you see, my uh, canvas is bigger than my spin table. And what I will do, bye, spider. What I will do, I will grab another one that it's still in... Um, plastic and I will put it down and I will put this one on top because you know I want to spin it okay I hope yes Raiko said to me that I have to be careful no it will not it spins okay because uh, I will put this aside for a second. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. No. Sorry. Uh, so I will pour a split cup, uh, ring pour with the split, <laughs> split cup on this Donald. And what I have in my head, I will not pour it just like, you know, like this. I have another canvas that I will pour just in a ribbon or something but for this one this is just my plan I will try to pour it in in the circle if you understand I hope that this can make some nice effects but I don't know but still we can wreck it if it will not work or something. And I will pour on my Donald on the sp spinner too because I want some swirls. So uh, this is an, the <laughs> my idea for today. It could be total fail, but let's play and the spider is still here you see him a little spider yeah i will pour my paints into the cup and then i will have to move them because otherwise i will <coughs> have a problem houston we have a problem have to check my consistency first and while I do this I can talk about my colors <coughs> this is Amsterdam azo yellow dip and I have Amsterdam vermilion for my orange I, I will go with kind of um, rainbow scheme or something <clears throat> and I have ultramarine violet from Amsterdam and I put just a little bit of permanent blue violet just to darken it up a little bit so this is this one and Amsterdam I love Amsterdam paints I I have to say this is Amsterdam permanent magenta party breaker <laughs> and <clears throat> Amsterdam brilliant blue no iridescent pebeo today so weird <laughs> normally I have just one or two iridescent paints but I will throw a little of pearl white in and manganese phthalo blue and I will use this cup with three chambers today and I will pour two colors in one and add some pearl white maybe between this pearl white is maybe thick a little bit no 
Uh, how I want to start? Let's add this yellow in first and then vermilion. and a little of pearl white and yellow again and vermilion again so i i decided to go with these bright colors today to start my first life with some bright cheerful colors for the new year okay and i will add a little more of yellow so these are for the first cup uh not cup chamber <laughs> whoops almost fell just a second i will just grab a um a cloth just to clean this right away otherwise i will have total mess so i think that i will go no i will go with magenta and violet here in the middle one because uh, when you have this split cup with three chambers what i think this is just what i think that the ones uh, the color that it's in the middle it will show the most i just think so not that it's that this is a fact this is just what i think that i saw in some of my pores so okay again a little pearl white and a little bit of magenta again And of course, I will use those colors for the second one too. Maybe not all of them. We will see how it will turn out. Because I have this canvas second one prepared. Okay. And let's start with blue here. blue I will just almost throw this and green and a little bit of pearl white again and blue again this could end up with a total mess but as I said, I can wreck it maybe if it will not work or do something else with it. We will see. And blue. Okay. <coughs> Done with layering my paints. Why even bother with cleaning? <laughs> because I will make a mess again. Okay. So, I'm just deb debating to myself if I should pour a little of white on the bottom. But I'm afraid that when I will start pouring that it will... This white will stay and I will not like it, but just a little bit, maybe. 
Okay. This is just my white mixture, but I have a big jar. And I will do a ring pour today. Where are the other colors? Oh, here they come. Here comes the purple and the green and the orange. My concern is that I will not have enough paint and I will not be able to do the whole circle, if you understand me, with the um, Donald. I don't know why he called this Donald, but I like the name. Doki, don't drip. So this Donald looks pretty nice for my taste. <laughs> uh, have to put it put it here on the side for a second, just a second. Okay. Okay. Stay. Put my canvas. As I said, this is 16 by 16 inch canvas. No, I will pour my white later. So, the moment of truth. Maybe just a little white to help it flow here. Just to wet down this a little bit. But I don't want this white, you know, to because it has to be has to have colors right from the beginning, so Let's see. Okay. And <gasps> definitely there will not be enough paint. Probably 
or maybe it will be and how should I end this up here I will have to go like this probably okay it's a rainbow saw <laughs> I will pour white here around <coughs> and camouflage this teeth kind of look here hopefully okay And then I will look at it and see if I want to maybe wreck it, but I don't think so. Because some of those lines are just beautiful. <clears throat> but I'm not sure, you see what happened here in the middle. I'm not sure. I will take Donald here. Take a bath, and then I will. Try to sit it down for me, Donald. I'm trying to travel. Then I will spread this around and spin. Okay. Let's steal this a little bit to see because I think that I have a lot of paint here in the middle. So I will just try to do some circles. Maybe I should even just tilt it, not spin it, I don't know. Let's give it a little gentle spin and then we will see. Probably this will not work because... Okay. No, I will have to tilt it. Because I can't spin as much as I would love to. I will go to this corner first. Okay. And to the opposite one next. Okay, back to the middle. Don't want to lose that. Okay, I will leave with this part here i will just camouflage it a little bit okay see how weird this uh, part where the middle was looks I'll just go maybe not enough paint even to 
cover this canvas. I will just pour a little more paint, white paint here, just to help it flow a little bit, because Sacrifice some white. Mm. Off. Okay. I will just grab this a little of this violet that it's left here just to cover this part and a little bit here and then I will go a little back to the middle a little bit this middle part with magenta, I, I don't think that I like it, but... The colors are... nice together. You see this part here bothers me. What... maybe I should... Um, wreck it before, but now it's too late. To wreck it because I can't tilt it anymore because it's not enough paint so I will leave it like it is because it's cheerful and the colors are nice so I will leave it and the second one I will use Donald again, but I will not go in circle. And I think that that one will look better. I need a spinner for a Donald, but then I will remove it. Just want to wash my hands. I will take you for a close up at the end for the both paintings. So. Okay. Uh, so here is my Donald all clean magic. See, I have to fill my cup first, and I will. Do the same as I did before because I like the colors, but yellow and orange, but I will not add pearl white this time. And less magenta and yellow <laughs> and orange. And yellow. Okay. Put this two aside. And purple. I still have some a little paint in here, so probably it will still I will still have some pearl white. Purple again. Gentle and purple. 
more purple than magenta. <laughs> I kind of don't like magenta, I don't know why. I like Conequadone magenta, but not just primary magenta. And green. And blue. And green. Okay. This is done. And let's I will maybe start with straight board this time. No, I will do a ring. I switch my order a little bit so you see I get so much more blue and more yellow and here comes the green The orange, here is magenta. I will stop before I will get a, a snake in the middle. <laughs> okay, I really love the colors, I have to say. And here I have, uh, oh, what is this, 12, 12 by 20 inch canvas and I'm just thinking to pour right in the middle I will just add some white here just have to clean my palette knife maybe I should even do black but now I just poured my white in on because if there will be some negative space probably will would look nicer with black but we can do that some other time I poured too much white probably Okay, I will torch it a little bit because I have a ton of air bubbles. Okay, 
I would keep this just like it is. And now I can pour some white here on the edge. Okie doke. Okay, let's see, I just, I will stretch it because Kind of like a peacock feather. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't saw a comment because I can't read the comments while I'm pouring. Have to stretch this a little more. Uh -huh. I will let it go, peacock feather. It's tilting time. <laughs> Jeremy, are you here? And I like it, I have to say. And I like the composition too. Maybe this way. Okay, if I turn it this way, this part bothers me a, a little bit. <laughs> Jeremy, you have to, or Lee has to, to do these t-shirts. It's tilting time. I'm a show pony too, Jeremy. So, not the working horse. <laughs> okay. And now back and I will be done. A little bit towards the middle. And I'm done. Just don't want to drip. What do you think? I will clean my hands that I will not drip on on the painting because I will just work a little bit on the edges to make them matchy. <coughs> So I need some blues. Have to grab some blues and greens here. Just to 
or you can use just white I will use just white here because here I can on this corner okay and I can use white on this corner too okay but here on that one a little bit oh you don't see the whole painting oh just a second I just can't do that sorry Raiko zesme čist no k ne moram zdaj nikak ja I can't ne moram no Ker je prevoljka. No mor mi je dati v kadr, to je največ, ne mi. Sebe dobro. Ja, če si rekel, da se novi, to je isto, ki je prej bilo. Je, je. Just have to find some purple somewhere. Ne, veš, kaj sem mišla, če bi samo obrnil v vsak moment. Dobre. Reko nam mor mi. I will leave this like it is, because otherwise I can ruin it just this corner maybe but I don't have I will add some blue here And I will add some green on that corner. I just have to make this painting <laughs> the way that it will not bother me. So, because this can bother, bother me at the end. Okay, the green here. And a little blue here. And violet on the last one and then I will be done. I have to put a little violet here. Because this I messed up this corner a little bit. So <coughs> that will do. I hope. Okay. Now it kind of looks that it's in there. Or so I will just show you. I have some paint on my Donald, but I will not use that. But what I have, do you see that? Rajko se vidi tole. Če ni? I will just grab some of this paint and pour out what I have. I hope that I will not ruin my painting with this. Because I'm a little... I don't know the word. Clumsy. Sometimes it's the word clumsy, I don't know. Narodno. <coughs> because it's always quite some paint left and in those cups and you can do Some little coasters or something. 
because when you use those cups, you pour quite some time and sometimes you are just tired at the end and you don't want to drip or something, so you stop before all your paint flows off, out, not off. You see, it's quite some paint left in there. Oh, okay. Sometimes you get something nice, sometimes don't, but doesn't cost you anything to try to pour some out. I did get a snake this time, you see? A little snake, yellow snake. Maybe I should wreck it before I start tilting but I just want to show you that you can pour out this paint that you have left okay let's put this a little bit aside and I will take the other painting bring the other painting too and show you a close-up I love those colors, I have to say. Okay. I'll just clean, wash my hands a little bit. I will just put this one here, because we don't need it. My white palette knives and of course you can grab these paints here too and transfer it to some other canvas or something you always have a lot of options to to do what you can do with leftovers or with drip offs so let me bring the First one, Whoop. it's still on the other canvas, but slippery. Okay. And I have to wash my hands again because I'm, I have them dirty again. And then I will take you for a closer. So I have some few ideas with the dust pan too how to pour paint off your dust pan but this will be another video because otherwise it will be too much this one i think it's gorgeous i love it I love it. I love it because it's it's kind of a flower again. <laughs> uh, yes, don't forget to premiere. I just see a comment now. You see, this is the part that really, really don't like it. But I don't know. I don't know, I will leave it, maybe it will, but this middle is, middle of this one is just beautiful, I like it, just this part is 
what I don't like. Maybe I can even do a smear or something on top here. I don't know. Because it really bothers me. Or even tear it off here. I will try to do something <laughs> off camera because um, kind of like it, but not totally. I should probably tear this part off to be kind of, you know, a flow because here is just something that I don't like. But one of two that it's perfect for my taste. I'm happy. So I really love this one. Bright, happy. That's how uh, the year 2021 I wish you to be. So uh, wish you a lot of beautiful colors, <laughs> a year with a lot of beautiful, positive things. And this is it for today. Thank you all for being here and see you on the next one. Bye.